Yesterday I got a chance to have a hands-on sneak preview of the new Batman game, Gotham Knights, which is being developed by Warner Brothers Games. Except it's not really a Batman game because Batman is dead at the start of it, and instead you pick a member of the Batfam to play as. The four characters you can choose to play as are Batgirl, Red Hood, Nightwing, or Robin, and it's a really difficult decision. Each character has their own unique set of abilities, which I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I picked Red Hood. He has guns. Obviously, I picked Red Hood. Quick disclaimer here. Most of you probably already know this, but this game does not take place in the Arkham universe. It takes place in its own separate universe. The Arkham games were developed by Rocksteady. This is WB, so they're not connected. All right, so one of my first tasks was to deal with the Freaks. They're a gang that has been plaguing Gotham City. Pretty standard stuff, except, you know, I'm Red Hood, so my stealth takedowns look like this. Between 400 and thought Batman was scary, I'm worse. Well, yes, Red Hood, of course you're worse than Batman. You have guns. You just shot that woman. I actually paused the game to ask the devs if he was using non-lethal ammo. He is. He's not killing people. He's just wounding them very badly, because even a rubber bullet at that range, uh, it's going to mess you up. Anyway, uh, next I tried to throw this guy out a window, but he hit an invisible force field or something. Kind of a bummer, but he landed in a funny position, so I, I guess that's fine. Then I did a stealth takedown on this woman. I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I feel like he's supposed to have his hand over her mouth and nose, but his hand must contain a gun at all times, so he's just kind of, I don't know, choking her with his gun or something. The early game combat is okay. It doesn't feel quite as fluid as the Arkham games, but honestly, I haven't played those games in ages, so maybe I'm just remembering them through nostalgia goggles. Also, in those games, you couldn't even shoot people, so were they actually good? The Arkham games were more focused on chaining combos, whereas this game's a little more focused on just doing damage and building up your meter so you can unleash your special moves. When it comes to the baddies you'll be fighting, the gang's all here. You've got your basic melee baddies, ranged bomb throwers, big fatty fat shield guys, and while these bad guys kind of stick to generic stereotypes, this guy's shield actually does have a lot of personality. You see it's got a big F for freaks there, and then a Batman symbol crossed out, and then a little cartoon of a dead Batman, just to drive the point home in case you missed it. The writing for these bad guys' lines does feel a little corny, maybe that's just me. Oh, broken. <laughs> Let's see if you'll break too. So after dealing with the freaks, I went back to the Belfry, which is kind of the Bat Fam's home base. I get it. Bats in the Belfry. Very funny. And here we get a little interaction that shows that Red Hood is kind of the angry rebel of the group. Sort of the Raphael of the team. In fact, when you think about it, they are kind of just the Ninja Turtles. Even the colors are pretty close to lining up. Getting back into the world, I headed over to Blackgate Prison, where I defeated some large lady with the power of stick and being giant, I guess. And then I had one of my personal favorite moments in the game where these two guards try to stop me, but they are completely unarmed and I have the ability to aim down sight, so this happened. So then I talked to Harley, and she sent me chasing after this balloon, which led to me fighting in a massive prison riot while a punk cover of Live in La Vida Loca plays. And they changed some of the lyrics in the song to reference Gotham City. Nice touch. I actually think this was the highlight of the gameplay for me. The Arkham games were a very serious set of games, and Gotham Knights is at its best when it's not taking itself so seriously. Quick side note though, while I do love games that have enemy factions fighting each other, I feel like a guy shooting two guns at an enemy should draw aggro and become a priority target. Like I shot this guy a couple times and he just decided he wanted to go back to fighting guards or something. After this I went back to the Belfry again where I had an intense conversation with Nightwing and Angrily chopped a carrot up. Then it was back into Gotham to try out my new travel ability, Mystical Leap. I actually, I laughed the first time I did this. He just creates magic green trampolines underneath him. And he can do this infinitely. There's no cooldown or energy or anything. I guess it's kind of cool when you pair it with the grappling hook or leaping off the bat cycle, but I don't know. It just, it wasn't really doing it for me as a mode of travel. Oh yeah, and there's a bat cycle. It turns invisible when you're not using it and you can summon it by pressing up on the D-pad. It's all right. It gets you around pretty quick. You can run into bad guys, but right now it's not very satisfying. 
needs like a sound effect here or something. When I run into someone on my bat cycle, I want a nice loud thwack and maybe a scream and definitely some more damage. You've also got these momentum abilities that you can use like this weird green bouncing bullet and instant takedown and the ability to fire your guns really fast and go through shields. That last one was super helpful. My next mission was to save some people who had bombs strapped to them and I failed that super hard the first time. Apparently I was supposed to use stealth here. Don't do it. God damn it. Belfry, call an ambulance. I got injured here. Yeah, I don't know, Alfred. Maybe cancel the ambulance and call someone with a power washer to spray that poor woman off the pavement. Stealth in this game definitely doesn't feel as good as the Arkham games, and this was in the early game, so maybe it gets better, but it didn't feel like there was a good way to distract enemies, there's no vents. It felt very one-dimensional. Then again, I was playing as probably the least stealthy character. So I'll cut the game a bit of slack here since I'm sure one of the other Bat Fam has some stealth abilities that make it more fun. So I completed the stealth portion on my second try and when I was done the bad guys literally said, guess we're done here and just ran away. Guess we're done. Let's Eventually Harley ended up taking over a hospital and I had to go in and shut her down. The hospital was guarded by a bunch of goons but I had a new ability that let me put a mine on an enemy and then throw that enemy and then shoot the mine to blow it up. So I spent a lot of time playing around with that. Until finally, I came face to face with Harley Quinn. Unfortunately for Dr. Quinzel, she was unprepared for my secret weapon. Lots of bullets. Okay, that was just the first phase of the battle, but honestly, this boss fight was pretty lackluster. She swings a hammer at you, she calls in some goons, swings a hammer at you some more. It's a little worrying for me that this is the showdown that Warner Brothers wanted to show off in their hands-on demo. I feel like if you're expecting the big cinematic battles of the Arkham games, you may want to, you know. Lower your expectations a lot. And that was it. After that fight, the demo was over. Final thoughts? It was alright. I wasn't wowed the way I was when I first jumped into the Arkham games, but there were some fun moments, and I feel like one of the big draws of this game is going to be the ability to play co-op with a friend, and I didn't get to experience that. I was hoping to play with the Joven Shire, but he didn't respond to the email in time, so he didn't get a slot. How does a man with a Batman symbol tattooed on his body not answer his Gotham Knights email in time? Oh right, he does have a new baby. I guess he's excused. I do really feel like since I missed out on the co-op aspect and the game's not even done yet, I shouldn't pass judgment on it. Obviously don't pre-order the game, but that's good advice for just about any game. When Gotham Knights does come out, I'll probably pick it up if for no other reason than to check out the co-op. One thing I couldn't help thinking about while I was playing this demo is I wonder how this game is going to stack up to Suicide Squad. If you don't know, Suicide Squad is the game that's being made by Rocksteady, who originally made the Arkham games, and it looks absolutely bonkers. Now that game does take place in the same universe as the other Arkham games, and I think is kind of a continuation of the story a little bit. Okay, that's it for me. Uh, there's probably links to other videos here if you want to watch, subscribe, leave a like and comment, hit the bell, do all the things. You guys know the drill. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I sure did shoot a lot of people. You should have taken your business elsewhere. Oh.